Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to go over all the different ways to work with the Parent Square calendars. So if you see a post in your feed that has the little box up here with a calendar event, that means that a calendar event was added to the post. And we all know that if you go to make a new post, right here in the post, if you come to the area that says post add-ons, add a calendar event, it will add this at the bottom to where you can add a calendar event to that post. But I'm going to show you a different way to do that. So what we want to do is go to our calendar view. So I'm going to cancel out of this post. In order to get to the calendar view, this is on desktop mode. It might be a little bit different if you're on iPad or phone, but you're going to go down to where it says explore and you're going to find calendar. So now we're on the Chapel Park Elementary main school calendar page. What I'm seeing is any events that I'm related to. So if it's a class that I'm a teacher of, if it's a group that I'm a part of, or anything that was posted to the entire Chapel Park Elementary, I'm seeing on this calendar. Now, if you're in this view and you wanna make a post that also has a calendar event attached to it, you're gonna use the new event button. Now in this mode, it's up here at the top, it's a blue button. If you click new event, it's gonna open up just like you would a post, but if you look at the bottom, it's already put the calendar event at the bottom. Instead of you having to go over to post add-ons and click in calendar entry, it's already there if you start the post in calendar view. So basically that's just two different ways to do the same thing. So if you're in the regular view and you're seeing your feed, you click new post there, you click add calendar entry under the post add-ons. If you're in calendar view, click new event and it basically does the same thing. But what if we want to enter calendar events for future events that we know are coming, but we don't want to make a post in the feed yet. So what we want to do in that case is not click on the new event button. Instead, we're just going to click on a date in the calendar. So let's move ahead to May. I'm going to click on May the 8th and I'm going to add Teacher Appreciation Week. Now, since this is the whole week, I'm going to add an end time and that's going to be May the 8th to the 12th. Now, pay real close attention to the note that it gives you at the top of this entry. It says no post will be created on the post page and no email will go out. So all we're doing is we're populating our calendar for future events. We're not putting it on the post page yet. We can do that later, but right now we're not doing that. So we have to do, who is this event for? We're going to say this is for all of Chapel Park Elementary, and then we're going to hit submit. And now it's added that um, Teacher Appreciation Week to the calendar, but it has not gone into the post of the main feed. When you are ready for that event to be added as a post in your main feed, just go back to calendar view, click on the event. It's going to pop up right here and find the edit button and click on the edit button. Now what that does, it turns it into a post. You could compose your post by adding your text and your pictures or whatever you need to add there. And then over here to the right, if you hit save, it's not gonna post it yet. It's just gonna save what you have written. Look at the note that it gives you above that. This event only shows up on the calendar. It is not posted as a post page and no notifications were sent. So if you are ready for it to go into the feed, say it's a week before Teacher's Appreciation Week, click on Post and Notify Options. You'll see that it's set to Do Not Notify Anyone. You can check the top to Send at the User Preferred Time, and now it's gonna go out to all staff and parents, and it's gonna show up in the feed, and it's already a calendar event that you had pre-populated, and now you turned it into a post. All right, so that's it. That's how to take uh, the calendar event, add future events, and then turn them into posts when you need you need to. And one thing, the last thing that I want you to remember is that every group or every class has its own calendar. So you know, if you go to groups, you'll see all the different groups at your school. So in this example, here's the homeroom class, and you see the calendar is populated right here. That is a calendar just for that class. I come over here and see the Chapel Park Elementary Panther Kids calendar for Panther Kids at that campus. Here's, it has its own calendar. And if you're part of these different groups or classes, when you go back to the main calendar, it'll show up in your main calendar feed if you're a part of it. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.